think about one thing. When you made your goal sheet about what you wanted, does your goal sheet have on it what God wants from you? Did you ask in any of this what was his will in your life? You know, look, man, what we want oftentimes is is is, is not what he wants for us. And, you know, if, if you're fighting against what you were created for, if you're fighting against his will, I mean, what do you want to happen? See, don't be so hard on yourself when you look at your goal sheet and you look at what you've not become, what you thought was a great idea. Don't be so hard on yourself because you just made a minor mistake, as do most people. We oftentimes make our goals and set our goals up without ever considering what is it that God wants from us. We keep talking about what we want without ever finding out or knowing what it is God wants for us. Well, guess what, man? Maybe you're fighting against the grain. Maybe you're just a salmon heading upstream. That's a tough fight upstream. Not all salmons get up to the spawning grounds, you know. Some of them don't make it upstream, you know. But all of them, ne- nearly all of them, except the ones that's killed by prey, when they're spawned, they go out to the ocean. That's cool, because you're, you're going with the grain. You're going downstream. You're going with the flow. That's but, but But when it's time to go against the grain, it's tough. And a lot of us have just been going against the grain for all of these years. But you know what? Listen, man, I did it. I know a lot of people who did it. Very few people get it right from the very beginning. Man, you got to stumble through life sometimes. Sometimes you got to fall through life. You got to make a lot of mistakes, man. But these mistakes are not failures. You know, when you fail at something, don't look at it as a failure. Don't look at yourself as a failure because you're 30 and and your goals ain't reached that you had on your list. That was your list. What about the things that's going right? Stop looking at what you're not. Take some time out and thank God for what you are. How about the fact that you keep waking up to be 30? You know, you get depressed about these birthdays. You really want to throw yourself in some depression. Miss a birthday. You really got a problem now. Look at where you are. You keep reaching birthdays. That's a glorious blessing. You keep waking up. You got your health. You've accomplished something. Something on your list is done. People spend too much time on the negative side and you're just throwing yourself into depression. So what, you wanted to be married by a certain age and you wanted to have kids. Okay, cool. You could have done all that with the wrong person. There's a blessing in not being married to the wrong person. There's a blessing in not having kids and nobody to help you raise them. There's a blessing in that, man. You're talking to somebody who can tell it to you. You can marry the wrong person if you want to. I'm telling you, you're going to be up in some mess you can't count on. So instead of being angry because you're not married, you don't have kids, why don't you thank God the man? Maybe he spared you from some misery here. Maybe you could have married the wrong person. Maybe you'd have kids and you're not really ready to be a mother or a father. You got to look at the upside, man. Quit looking at what you don't have. Take some time to thank God for what you do have. When you do that, you make more room for blessings to flow into your life.